My name is Paul Salopek and I'm a journalist and National Geographic fellow. I'm walking 21,000 miles across the world, retracing our oldest ancestors' migration out of Africa to South America. Today, four years into my trek, I'm talking to you from Central Asia, after having walked 6,000 miles from my starting point in Ethiopia. It's a pleasure to join you here at the Jamboree. My project, called the Out of Eden Walk, is about slowing down, observing the world closely and writing thoughtfully about the people and places I encounter on the global trail. In this way, my walking shares some of the same principles that you're learning as scouts. I use intentionality, close observation of my environment, and meaningful interactions with others to write about deeper and often hidden connections among people and between humans in the natural world. The walk then sparks a quality of alertness. It's not about sleepwalking through life. It's about being mentally awake. And it's one way, I think, to help us each become a better citizen and steward of our shared planet. My project is global, but its applications are local. Just as you are gathered here to celebrate scouting, people from all nationalities, ethnic groups, and faiths also organize their own celebrations for a common good. Whether it's a village dance in Ethiopia that strengthens the bonds of neighbors, or the joyous Nauru Spring Festivals held throughout Central Asia. This project is primarily about the power of storytelling. It's about using journalism to not just explore a changing world, but to examine our place within it. During the Jamboree, for example, you're encouraged to think about what aspects of scouting apply to enriching your individual lives and communities. While hiking to Garden Ground Mountain, be intentional with your time. Think about where you are, who you're with, and how each of your life steps can be rooted with purpose. And during your Messengers of Peace Day of Service, think about how to utilize your talents to support and empower people and places in need. How? By slowing down to look carefully at the world around you, by pausing to note the details of your environment, by reflecting on how these experiences make you think and feel, and, here's the key, by writing it down in your passport journals. How to do this effectively? It's a combination of stillness and action. Sometimes as I'm walking towards the horizon, I'll observe life in a village. Soon enough, social patterns emerge, relationships become clear, and insights land on my pages that go far deeper than the daily headlines. In other cases, it requires talking with strangers. This requires close listening. It also requires writing these exchanges down. Finally, knowing local history helps ground your stories in the context of a place. Your trips to the Jamboree, for instance, are just the latest journeys layered atop older ones, like the Shawnee migrations years ago. I encourage you to embrace these techniques, what I call slow journalism. Keep your eyes on the horizon as well, because there's even a chance to join me on the global trail. Good luck. Building and sharing your story of intention begins here at the Jamboree. Onward.